Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Vasa de Olishala Obasa here. And today I just wanted us to talk about things we'll never forget that COVID-19 and the lockdown has taught. And I'm going to be sharing it from my own experience and perspective. So I welcome you. Hmm. See, for many years, and in fact, let me not go too far. Since the year began in January, for instance, all I do is wake up in the morning, by the grace of God, of course, thankful for each day, get the children ready and myself and the entire family and me were all ready and we leave the house to go right to work. It had never, it had never been a thing to consider, thinking whether someday we would not be able to go to work, just as uh, real and as natural as that would seem. But you know something? I've not been to my physical office for four weeks already. I have missed the routine of waking up and going out there. Am I saying that I've not been working? No, I've been working. But you see, I have learned certain lessons, things that I'll never, ever, ever take for granted again all my life. Tabitha D, thank you for joining me. You're welcome. So today, I want you and I to think. Let's resonate. What are those things you'd never, ever take for granted again all your life? I have listed 10. I'm sure there are more than that. And this is just going to be for like 15, 20 minutes. So you want to share yours? Put them in the comment box, and then I'll amplify from here. But you see, this is just gisting with Bosa de Olishola Obasa. And it started on Saturday, and today we're looking at something that has to do with this season. See, I believe in that uh, statement that says that if you don't learn from your pain, you've wasted your pain. So you actually should learn from any pain that you go through. So has it been painful that you had to be at a point, maybe some people have not even stepped, I was hearing my daughter was telling me a story of um, a friend of hers whose mom would not even allow her to come from upstairs to the living room downstairs. I'll stay upstairs. I don't want you to go and touch or the children touch. COVID-19 is outside, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that is how careful we have had to become. Beautiful. But you see, if you feel that it's been painful, maybe you've even lost a loved one. Maybe it's because you've not been able to optimize your activities in, stand in terms of moving around. And if your job had been that type that required you to move from one point to another before now, it means that there has been a pain somewhere. And like a friend of mine, Tosi, who wrote the book, Pain is Gain. I can really, 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 really relate. So, if you feel the pinch, like I do in some areas of life, the only way you can reward yourself for the pain that you felt is to pick the lessons that he had to deliver to you. What have you learned? It is not character not to learn from your experiences. It means that you are absent-minded about things that are important to you. What life is trying to show you, you are not seeing it. What are those things that I have found out? I will never take for granted again all my life. Hmm. And see, you know I talk about gratitude a lot. So I think that I averagely am the grateful being but even now, I see that I could have been much more grateful for these various blessings and experiences. I'm going to put a post out tomorrow, and you will see the detail of it. But see, this video will just be for the short one we can do. So, what are those things? First of all, hmm, I'm grateful for the privilege of going to work like going to work because my kind of work is going to work if you saw my post this morning you see me saying that yes i've done online trainings yes i've met virtual people or people virtually yet i've made the same impact 
But I, I, I miss the torch. So I've learned never to take that opportunity for granted. It's a privilege and never to take it for granted. So I'll never again all my life um, underestimate the importance, the power, the joy that seeing people when I train them brings to me. I'm not the type that takes people for granted. So I'm not talking about the fact that I've taken people for granted and I feel a sense of regret. No. But I'm saying that even now, I feel that, whoo, this was so much to be much, 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 much grateful for. So all my life, never, ever going to take it for granted the opportunity that I have to meet people when I train them to go to work, to open my office door and to step in there and to sit. I have missed my desk. Oh my God. What else would I ever take for granted? My office selfies. <laughs> That's like a joke. Thank you for joining Ola Boreto. You see, you have to look for how to create fun when things get too serious. Honestly, I've missed those moments when I've worked so hard and I feel that, ah, today I don't cack up too much. Let me record this. Let me keep it for memories or for that times when I might need pictures to accomplish my post. And I just go, pew, pew, pew. and I have my selfies, as many of them as I can. And then I'll be, okay, this one is not as good as and I'll be dropping them. Thank you, Timothy, or, or dead dinner for joining. I appreciate you. So, 10 things I would never, ever take for granted again all of my life. Look, for me, they are life lessons. They are not lessons I'm ever going to forget. So I miss my desk. I miss my office. I miss my selfie moment in the office. <laughs> I miss my selfie moment in the office. So I'll never take that for granted. The privilege to go to work. Now let me talk to you. I don't know, maybe you go to work via taking bike or you drive yourself or you do public transport. That will not matter anymore because now you've been able to see that getting out of your house to work every day is a basic exercise. It helps you exercise yourself. You just find out that. And then we are saying, oh, all this stress, stress, stress. I bet many of you right now say, bring our stress back. <laughs> bring back our stress. So we can be stressed and leave home maybe 5 a.m., depending on where you leave home and you go to work. So I miss, I miss, and I'm ever grateful. I'm never ever going to take for granted the privilege to go to work, not just to work. Because I work till now. Even now I'm working. This is part of what I do. But never take for granted going to the office. Never take it for granted anymore. Not in this life. Now, what other things do I miss? Hmm. I miss the opportunity to meet people. Many weeks back, I was reviewing and I just said, wow. Days when it was okay to have a hug. A passionate hug, like you miss someone. Days when it was okay to have a peck. Days when it was okay to do all of that. Hmm. But right now, you suspect everybody. Oh my God. I will never again take for granted the privilege to meet people. It's a privilege. I'll never again take it for What about you? So maybe you think people are a pain in your neck. And right now, you are looking for people everywhere. Initially, we were like, don't visit me, COVID-19. It got to a point like, oh, bored, 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 bored. And I was sharing with a GM recently. I said, have you noticed? When I was checking up on him. I said, have you noticed that? Even for those of us who think that we know how to schedule our day, yes. So, uh, someone said, you're about people say in your last show. Me, yes, Sunday are DOT. Thank you. That is very true. People are our clothes, uh, literally speaking. <laughs> so... You feel people are a pain in the neck and now you're wishing you had people everywhere because you've gone through all that you know how to do profit label for the day and the day still looks like, ah, this day no go end me. The day long they go. There are days like that. It just looks like it's not going to end. Particularly when the entire lockdown just started. I'm talking up to you about 10 things I personally will never take for granted again forever. First, going out to work and showing up in my office. Thank you, Tosin, for joining. Thank you. Ah, thank you, sir, for joining, Mr. Kendi Odison. Oh, God bless you, sir, Pastor. Thank you so much. So, 10 things I'll never take for granted again. The third one. I'm not arranging them in order of priority. But you see, the third one is, hey, I will never again 
take for granted the opportunity and privilege to go to church. Don't tell me that, you know, I've been going to church. In fact, now I do more services. I'll do winners, I'll do Calvary, I'll do Dunamis, I'll do every pastor that I love and follow, I do them. But you see, let me wear my glasses. Hmm. It's not the same. Leave me alone. It's not the same. I will never again take for granted. I have never taken for granted before. But you see, I'm like grateful times 1,000 right now. Thank you, Jasper Sunday, Ezekiel, for joining. I appreciate you. Meeting people is a privilege. Yes, Doc has well said. Hmm. I will never again take for granted the privilege to meet people. Yes. And oh, thank you, Mrs. Fola Shade Israel Boku, for joining. I want to punch. Thank you for joining. I love you. And so going to church, hmm, I've been doing, yes, I've been worshiping. Many of you say I've even had more time to pray. Yes. But you see, ah, mm, I will never again take for granted the opportunity to wake up on a Sunday, wear my clock, cack, enter the car and go to church and do my worship to my God, serve and come back. I will never in my life, life, life. I mean, there's sometimes I'm coming in my life when they bench you for hours on Sunday. Hey, well, hey, hey, because of COVID-19, because of lockdown. Honestly, if you let the lessons of this season pass by, you have lost twice. Because you have felt the pain of the things that you missed, and then you have not learned how to appreciate them for all times. I will never. What other thing? So how many have I told you now? If you are following. Number one, I never take for granted the opportunity to meet people. Never take for granted again the opportunity to go to the office. I never take for granted again the opportunity to go to church. So it's about go to, go to. That opportunity to move around. You want to move, you can move. I mean, move, move, move. But now moving is curtailed. Movement is curtailed. And... I will also never take for granted the opportunity. Oh, I said I meet my office selfies. Yes, I said I miss being able to hug people, being able to say hi, shake their hands. Whether it's corporate shaking, formal shaking, nothing, handshake is working for now. Mm. I also miss the opportunity to wear my, what, you, what looks like my formal wears. You see, I have to be wearing all this one, eh? Because I wanted to look a bit formal to you. Yes, so Mrs. Lagboku, I will never take for granted the freedom to move around. <laughs> yes. And then Tosi said, I miss shaking and hugging people during welcome and greeting. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I miss it too. I'll never take it for granted again for life. And I'll never take for granted the opportunity to meet people and train them physically. I said that also. And then what about opportunity to wear all the clothes that you have? Have you checked your wardrobe recently? Or your closet where you put your shoes? That they rest for day. Honestly, if not, I want to come and talk to you people. And I say my respect myself. And I decided to wear like this. No character now. Now sleeveless, so and uh, and uh, short so or three quarter or combat. Oh. That has been it though. Wake up in the morning, dress, even all the work from home, work from home. Now, the last, last work for work from home. Now, now so the dressing be because even Nepal sometimes they go behave anyhow. What have we been talking about? What will never take for granted again? Forever. I'll never, ever again take for granted that opportunity. Honestly, never, never. Thank you for joining to Dr. Eliza Day. And I'll never take for granted the opportunity to do all that I've always done as a regular thing. So, after all, this has shown us that God is omniscient. And the fact that many of the things we have enjoyed were miracles that happen to us every day. They were actually benefits that we should be grateful for. That was all that I said I should come and share with you. Things I never take again for granted. All my life, me, is all my life. Oh. That I will ever say church is a common thing to go. Like, yeah. Who says? Right now, we are praying that everything will settle and we can congregate again. We are praying that every world will heal and everyone can be back. We want our shadows back. We want our horses back. Whatever. 
also. Okay? We want our stress back. Bring back our stress. Bring back our waking up in the morning and coming back in the night. Bring it back. Thank you, Tai of Owe. Oh, my boss. Thank you for joining. All right. So, I don't know. Some of you have also shared with me what you're grateful for and what you'll never take for granted again. I teach character development for personal and institutional. So I know that gratitude is one thing we must all continue to be better at doing and building up. So stay grateful. You need to go back and say, Lord, I'm thankful for all that I could do when I could do them. Because now it's not like I don't want to do them, but I can't. Even the law frowns at some of those things right now. Here is wishing everyone healing, if you're infected, strength, if you're weak, hope, if you're losing it, and please be assured that we are all feeling it in one way or the other. I just wanted to let you know that I feel it too. And that, but I am choosing to also take lessons away. Thank you, Mrs. Lagboko. She says, well done. Thank you. Thank you. All right, then. Stay excited. I will come your way again on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. I'll share something again very exciting. But be sure, every time you see this face, I've come to add value to you. I've come to give you joy. Because I love you, and this is what I'm signed up to doing. Adding value to you by talking about personal and institutional character uh, development. It's bye for now. Thank you.